Hey up. Welcome to the video. Before the story starts this is part 5 in the finale of this specific series, so if you haven't seen the other parts, go watch them first so you're not confused, missing any context slash information, or so nothing gets spoiled for you. Anyways, if you enjoy please leave a like and subscribe as well as hit the notification bell so you know exactly when I upload. And also check out my wit at Titanic Texts if you want to read my stories before they become videos. That's it for now, I hope you enjoy. Cheers. Hey it's been a few hours since we last saw Giyu, should we get him? Yeah he's been gone long enough let's go get him. I don't wanna find him. He also might have left already. Well we'll never know unless we go look. Why don't we just text him? It's Giyu he never responds. Especially if he's angry. I think I can faintly smell him. What does he smell like? A combination of sadness and worry. Right now. Always. Well that's depressing. Just like him. Roasted. You guys are also mean. Whoever cares to find him follow me. Mitsuri, Rengoku, Tengen, Muichiro, and the younglings head out to find him. Giyome turns to Shinobu. Aren't you going to go check on him? No. Why not? I thought you cared about him. Didn't you see what happened during Spin the Bottle? No I was asleep, I wasn't aware what was even played. Oh. Right sorry. Giyome why do you even ask? The two of them are usually with one another, I thought it was odd she just stayed here. You just got absolutely outed. Shut your trap. Language. Plus you're not off the hook. Why are you avoiding questions about my sister? I'm gonna go look for Giyu. He quickly gets up and leaves. Weird. The three just sit there in silence for a minute. Shinobu feels a strange urge to find Giyu. She gets up and leaves the room. Meanwhile the others are searching everywhere inside. Janjiro use your nose to find him. It's Tanjiro and his smell is faintly everywhere, I can't track where he is. He's here too often for us to find him by smell. Last I saw him he was outside. Yeah but now it's really cold, would he still be out there? Shinobu overhears them talking. We still have half of the mansion to search, let's do that before we go out. They continue on inside the mansion. He's probably stupid enough to be outside. She exits out the front doors and into the yard. She jumps up onto the roof and looks out at the front, sides, and backyard. She spots a huge patch of butterflies fluttering around the ground. That's weird. She jumps down and goes over to it. She sees the butterflies are all hovering around Giyu who's laying down in the grass. Tomioka what are you doing? She steps inside the ring of butterflies to get a better view. She looks down to see him asleep with his eyebrows narrowed. She stares at him with all the pretty butterflies circling them. She hears the others inside and decides to get them first before waking him up. I found him. What? Since when were you looking? Where is he? Outside in the backyard. I knew it. We'd better go get him quick it's getting colder out. They all walk outside to where he is. What's up with all the butterflies? Maybe they wanna eat him. OMG look at him. He looks so peaceful and cute. I do hate to say it but he looks a little flashy with the butterflies. He looks troubled to me. Isn't that how he always is? More so than usual right now. Nezko walks over to him and touches his forehead. He's ice cold. By the way, Nezko still has her muzzle and everyone can understand her. It doesn't make any sense because they have phones, movies, etc. But let's just roll with she's still a demon and has her muzzle for some reason. He's been out here for how long? Two hours if he's stayed outside since Rengoku talked to him. Giyu san wake up. He doesn't respond. Giyu come on. We need to get back inside. He still doesn't respond. Maybe he's hibernating. Humans don't do that idiot. A. 
call me that one more time. While they start arguing Nezko places her hands back on Gia's forehead. She uses her blood demon art to encase him in harmless fire. It warms him up a bit and he wakes up. Huh. Nezko. Hi Giyu san glad you're awake. Good job Nezko you woke him up. Why are you guys here? Why are you just asleep in the middle of the yard? He looks around and remembers he's at the mansion and not his house. Oh right. Come on back inside we have one more game to play. Not again, I told you I'm not doing that anymore. Then why haven't you gone home? Conflicted Giyu silence. In Giyu's head. My brain is telling me to, but my body doesn't want to. I don't know why. Come inside and warm up at least. It's okay go play your game, I'll stay here and. This is exactly why not a single soul likes you. Stop being a loser and get inside you can't be trusted not to die outside on your own. She angrily walks inside. Everyone is a little stunned by that. A little embarrassed Giyu silence. Flamboyant exit. You heard her. Now get up. He reluctantly gets up and walks in with everyone else. That took a while. Anasuke, can I borrow your mask? What for? The next game. Okay fine. He hands it over and Mitsuri starts writing everyone's names on pieces of paper. She slightly folds the corner of her own named paper and puts all of the names in the mask. Okay guys we're ready to start our last game. And then we finally get to sleep. Sure. Will this game be cringe? By your standards yes and no. How does that make sense? Okay well the game we're playing is called 7 minutes in heaven. We pull two names out of this mask and whoever gets chosen has to sit in the closet for 7 minutes. There are literally no rules, they can do anything they want in there. Sounds pretty cringe to me. Well luckily for me I don't care, is everyone ready? Yes Mitsuri. Yet again bro you don't need to try so hard. Shut it. Wait clarification, anything is allowed. Yes you can just talk, say nothing, hug, kiss, fight, whatever, it doesn't matter. This worries me. Well it's too late. I've got the names here let's pull the first ones out. In Mitsuri's head. Hmm it'll be a bit more difficult to pair people together. I've already put Shinobu and Giyu through enough pain and nothing works. I won't do them anymore. She reaches in and grabs two pieces of paper. Alright Muichiro and Sanemi you two are up. Oh great. They walk into the closet. Okay 7 minutes on the clock. She closes the door. So they just sit there for 7 minutes. Yup. That's the game. What do we do? Do our best to eavesdrop or just talk. Inside the closet both of them have been silent for 2 minutes. So what's? Shut up I don't want to talk. Why not? I said shut up. I'm not just going to sit here. Well I am. What happened with you and Kanae? Sanemi doesn't respond. Were you guys friends before she died? Painful Sanemi silence. Did something bad happen between you two? No nothing bad happened. Then why do people keep bringing her up to you? I don't know okay. Just shut it. Muichiro backs off and the 7 minutes end. Alright time's up. They leave the closet and sit down. Okay the next two people are. Kanao and Tanjiro. Again. Okay this whole night is rigged. That's what I've been saying. It's not rigged. Of course it is, the same people that you happen to ship keep getting paired together. There's no way for me to rig this game. I have no control over who gets picked. Of course you do, I'm pulling from now on. Wah, wow, fine then, but let these two go first. Fine. Tanjiro and Kana walk into the closet and Mitsuri closes the door. Wow it's been a crazy day. No kidding. It does kind of make sense if Mitsuri rigged it all. What makes sense? Oh. 
Well it's just interesting how both of us are always paired up you know. Yeah I guess it is. Though I'd rather have it be us than like me and Inosuke or something haha. Wah what? You'd rather have it be me. Oh oh well why yeah at least for something like spin the bottle. OM makes sense. Zenitsu can hear everything inside the closet and he starts whispering to Nezuko. Both of their hearts are racing like crazy. They start to giggle quietly. Hey what are you laughing about? Oh nothing. Kanao and Tanjiro sit there in awkward silence for a moment. T Tanjiro. Yeah. Remember when we fell asleep during the movies? Yeah I do, what about it? Well it's just, that was really comfortable. Yeah. And and I was just wondering if we could. While we have the time. D do you want to hug again? Um. Yay yes. Okay. They step closer together and hug each other. They both let out a sigh of relief. Are you nervous? Yeah, you. Yeah me too. Meanwhile outside the closet everyone is just talking. Zenitsu tells Nezuko what they said. Ah that's cute. What is? Oh uh, just this image I was showing her. Hum okay. Diu has been sitting on the outskirts not saying anything but listening. Rengoku walks over to him and sits down. How did you sleep out there? Same as always. Were you able to clear your head? Not really. Ah that's a shame. You know, she was the one who found you out there. Who? You know who I'm talking about. I thought everyone found me. No, she found you first and got us. Confused Giyu silence. It seems she cares about you. No she doesn't, she never has. If you want to believe that feel free, but she was willing to get up on her own and get you. Didn't she come out with all of you? No, she stayed inside and got up after we left. Contemplating Giyu silence. Anyways, just wanted to point this out. He stands up and goes back to where he was sitting. Six minutes have passed since Kanao and Tanjiro got in the closet. I'm glad that we got to spend more time together today. Really? Yeah, I enjoy being with you, especially close like this. Me too. Kanao, I think I lie. Suddenly Mitsuri opens the door. Alright times oh my. Kanao and Tanjiro quickly break the hug. Sorry to interrupt. No you're all good. Yup it's fine. They quickly sit down tomato red. Hee hee okay next to. Shinobu reaches in the mask and pulls out two names. It's, Aoi and Inosuke. Yeah right. No it actually is. See. I told you. It just has to be a freak coincidence. Whatever let's just get it on with. Aoi and Inosuke step in the closet and Mitsuri closes the door. So what do you wanna do? I don't know. I feel weird without my mask. I think you look pretty good without it. Eh? What do you mean? It just kind of freaks me out sometimes and I prefer you without it. I'm the mountain god. You should fear me. Wahahaha. You're pretty ridiculous. Giyu is now overthinking thanks to Rengoku, and still can't believe that Shinobu would care for him after what happened. He stares at her for a moment before looking away. Shortly after he looks away, Shinobu turns to look at him for a moment, also overthinking. Aoi and Inosuke sit in the closet silent for a minute. So why do you like my food so much? What? Remember what Mitsuri said. I like all food. I know that, but you do seem to like my cooking the most, why? You just do it better than everyone else. I do it the same. Embarrassed thinking about feelings Inosuke silence. Do you like me? I don't know what you mean. Yes you do. I have no idea. Outside Zenitsu is telling Nezuko everything he hears again and they start giggling. Okay something's going on with you too. What no? You can hear them can't you? 
I forgot about that. Can you hear them in there? Yeah yeah. Wait does that mean? What are they saying? I know you're not that dumb, do you like me? No. Then why did you blush after we kissed? I didn't blush. Yes you did I saw. Well didn't you blush too? Well yeah. So you like me? Yes. I like you. It's weird to admit it. Wahaha I wait you like me. He sits there realizing what she just said. He feels Mitsuri walking towards the door and he quickly grabs Aoi and kisses her. He breaks it off right before she opens the door. Time's up. Ah man I was hoping I'd catch you guys doing something. Anasuke instantly leaves the closet and sits down. Aoi stands there frozen and shocked. Aoi. Time's up. Wa what? Oh are right. She sits down next to Anasuke. Congrats you too. What? We heard everything you said. What? Well Zenitsu did and told us. So everyone just heard all of that. He he yup. What? That's a total invasion of privacy. That's so wrong on so many level. Anasuke turns her towards him and kisses her. E Anasuke. What? I don't care if they know. Wait so you guys both actually like each other. Um hum. And you are choosing this by your own will. Um hum. Hum. Eek I'm so happy for you too. As I said, congrats. This makes me nauseous. How would you feel if it was you and? Shut it. I'll write the next two please. Shinobu pulls another two out of the hat. What? It's Zenitsu and Nezuko. In Nezuko's head finally. Check the papers. True Mitsuri wrote them down, maybe she just wrote their names a bunch. Shinobu reads through them. No everyone's names are here. It's just destiny. Nezuko grabs Zenitsu and brings him into the closet. She looks at Mitsuri. Thank you. Of course. I'm glad it still all went to plan. You'll really have to thank Shinobu because she's the one who pulled you too, but either way you're welcome. She closes the door. Hee hee wow I can't believe we ended up in here. Nezuko reaches behind her head. Nezuko. Are you okay? She unties her muzzle and takes it off. Nay Nezuko I don't think you're supposed to. She puts her hands on his cheeks and kisses him for a good 5 seconds. While it's happening Zenitsu is flipping out. Nnn nay Nezuko. What was that? Zenitsu san. You can actually talk. She puts her finger over his mouth. I love you. Zenitsu turns from tomato red to slightly pale from excitement and loss of breath. Nezuko I love. I already know. She kisses him again and they hug each other. Nezuko wa why did you do this? It's not fair that we didn't get to actually kiss before so I had this arranged. You set the game up. Yeah I just asked Mitsuri if we could and she said yes. Wow. This is all crazy, I didn't know you felt the same as me. Of course I do, maybe I love you more. Hee <laughs> hee no that's impossible. Your voice is heavenly Nezko. Yours is too. Speaking of your voice, she's gonna open that door any moment now you should put your muzz. No, it's okay I want them to know. She kisses him one last time before Mitsuri opens the door. Time's up. They both step out. Nezuko. What happened to your muzzle? Zenitsu. Wait no. You have it wrong. Tanjiro please I took it off. What? Why? Because I love him. It's not fair we didn't get to kiss earlier. Wait she can actually talk. We had to learn, um, speak when she could talk normally the whole time. Wa what? You love him. That's right you tell him. I don't get in the way of you and Kanao, how would you feel if you couldn't kiss her? Uh, um no we're not. Oh please, don't act like we can't tell. You two definitely have it for each other. What kind of circus is this? A love kind. 
Do you actually love him? Yes. Flashy response. No hesitation. I I didn't know. You were too busy being protective to realize. You're right Nezko, I would feel bad without Kanao, I'm sorry. I should have been more attentive and let you make your own choices. T Tanjiro. It's okay, I know you were looking out for me. Okay hold on, what did you say about Kanao? Oh right, Kanao I like you. I was trying to tell you that but the time ran out. Oh. I I like you too Tanjiro. I'm seriously going to vomit. Let me get this straight, all six of you on your own, decided that you liked each other. All six of them agree. Because of this game. Not really, it just helped us channel it. Yeah I've liked Kanao for a while. Kanao blushes. Mitsuri did you drug them? What? No of course not. I just happened to place them together at the right times. So you did rig it? Only a little. This entire game was out of my hands though, they confessed on their own. I knew it. Wow. I'm getting tired. Should we do one more round? I don't mind one more, it's getting interesting. At least the love is over. In Shinoba's head. So she did rig it. And they all ended up together. Her intuition about love is superhuman. We'll do one more. She reaches into the mask, pulls one out and reads it. It's me and. She grabs another and it has a bent corner. Mitsuri sees it and starts to stand up. Shinobu stares at the paper for a quick moment, before she says. Tomioka. It's me and Tomioka. Okay I'm done, this is BS. Mitsuri freezes then leans back in her chair. In Mitsuri's head. What? It has a bent corner it should be mine. Did it get rustled around and bent in the process? No. It's the last round. Yeah who cares just go. He reluctantly stands up and they both walk into the closet. Uh. Time starts now. She closes the door while perplexed. Shinobu and Giyu both stand there awkwardly not saying anything. They both build up the courage to say something. I'm, so. Oh sorry, you go first. No it's fine you go. Okay well, I'm just sorry about earlier. I should have been paying attention to what was going on. No I'm sorry, I shouldn't have gotten so mad or said what I said. I should have warned you or at least had my eyes open. They both awkwardly look at the ground for a moment. Is it true you found me first? What? Rengoku said you found me in the yard, is that true? Yeah yeah it is. Oh. I thought it was everyone. I was the only one who knew you were dumb enough to be outside. She playfully laughs a little bit. Meanwhile outside the door, Mitsuri is going through all the papers. Mitsuri what's wrong? She doesn't answer. She finds her paper with the bent corner and looks at all the others. No other paper has a bent corner besides hers. She looks over at the door. I can't believe it. She puts her ear up to the door but can't really hear much. So to tell you the truth, I didn't pull your name. What? I lied about your name. Why why? I've just been thinking about everything and I felt bad about what I did so. I just wanted to apologize. I guess the six of them inspired me to do something and say what was on my mind. Giyu thinks for a moment. You know earlier when we were watching the movies and we fell asleep. Yeah. That was the first time I've fallen asleep and not had a nightmare. Really? You have nightmares every time you sleep. Yeah. But not the time. Oh. I'm sorry. I've had them for as long as I can remember and this was the one time I had a normal dream. That's weird I wonder why. I think it was because of you. What? Outside everyone besides Mitsuri is talking as normal. Zenitsu and Nezuko are talking to each other not paying any attention to the game. Mitsuri walks over to them. Zenitsu I need you to listen to them. What? I need you to repeat what they say. 
Juan. Hurry. He starts listening and repeating what they say to her. They said we were close to each other while we slept. Cocho, I think you made me feel happy. Me. Of all people you think I made you happy. I know it doesn't make sense because you always insult me and hate me but it's the only thing that was different. Tomioka. I don't hate you. Then why do you say all those things about me? Well. I don't mean them, I just figured you'd want to prove me wrong. So you're saying all those times you said I have no friends, it was to make me want to prove you wrong so I would get friends. Yeah. I'd rather have you hate me and have friends than have no one by your side. They stand there for a moment. Outside the timer goes off. Hey Mitsuri the timer stopped. Shish Zenitsu what are they saying? They're just silent right now. Shouldn't you open the door? Shish. What's happening? Come listen. Everyone gathers around Zenitsu to hear what they're saying. I'm sorry for not telling you, it was a dumb idea I shouldn't have done it in the first place. Giyu grabs Shinobu and hugs her. T Tomioka. He starts slowly crying. Thank you. Thank you Shinobu. She hugs him back. Fo for what? For caring. I've always cared Giyu, I've always cared about you. He starts crying harder because she actually said it herself. She starts to slowly cry too. Are you okay? Yay yeah, yeah. It just feels so good to finally get that off my chest. They hug each other tighter. Meanwhile outside. Great so they like each other too. OMG OMG it's happening. I knew it. Eek. They haven't said anything yet. It counts. They care for each other. They're in love. Inside the closet they break the hug and look at each other. Shinobu wipes the tears from his eyes and he holds her hand against his cheek as he smiles at her. She mega blushes but smiles back. Finally, Shinobu grabs his haori and goes on her tippy toes, he grabs her waist and leans down a bit and they kiss. Once they break it they touch noses and rest their foreheads on one another's. I love you. I love you too. They said it. I knew it. They're in love. Eek. They hear Mitsuri's screech. You wanna tell them. I mean they're going to find out one way or another. It sounds like they already did. Hehe <laughs> you're right. They open the door and walk out. Mitsuri instantly hugs them both. I'm so proud of you too. I still think I'm gonna barf. I still can't believe you sneakily lied about his name on the paper. Wait that was a lie. Did you not hear us talking about it in there? No she made me listen like halfway through you guys being in there. Then how did you know? I bent the corner of my paper so I would know it was mine. When you pulled it out I got ready to get up but you chose to say it was Giyu. Wow just wow. I knew you cared about him. Yeah you were right Giyome. Ha. He outed you before anything was confirmed. Mitsuri said it all first. What hasn't she said? By the way congrats guys. Thanks Tanjiro, you too. So we got what? Four new couples today. Yeah that checks out. I'm so happy. I love you all. I love you too. Jeez man I already said you don't need to try so hard. Shut. Mitsuri kisses him. Make it five. I love you too Iguro. Alright guys it's like 3 am let's go to bed. Finally. Today was pretty flashy, but not as much as me. Good night. Good night. Good night everyone. Thank you all for coming here and participating. Everyone says good night and drifts off to sleep. Obviously, the couples sleep right next to each other, cuddling, snuggling, hugging, you get the idea. Giyu dreams a happy dream for the second time since he was a small child. It turns out it is Shinobu that makes him happiest. Everyone sleeps happy and satisfied. The end.